In this video, I'll show you how to use Velocity Keyboard to control drum sounds inside of Beatmaker 3. Let's get Beatmaker 3 open and start a new session. And I'm going to load this first drum kit. I'll hit Load Bank, and now they're all, they're all loaded. I'm going to go over in Velocity Keyboard, and let's switch over to a drum pads layout. And I don't need... Uh, I'm already connected to Beatmaker 3. And I don't need MPE for this, so I'm going to take single channel polyphonic. Let's look at what we've got. Now the drum pad layout that I got in Beatmaker was just uh, a 4x4 four four layout. And here I have 4x5. I'm going to try to match the layout in Beatmaker and set the same 4x4, four four, just so that it's, it's clean and it looks the same. Um, I might even do this. Uh, turn it on its... Well, it looks like I've got, oh, there we go. Yeah, I got a little bit bigger view of the screen by going to portrait orientation. The, um, the drum pads uh, expanded, uh, and I like the way that works. So I'll use it like this, um, but now I'm going to Beatmaker. Oh, this is going to be a little bit tricky because I'm going to have to change orientation when I go to Beatmaker. Uh, in Velocity Keyboard right now, uh, I'm not getting any sounds even though I'm connected to Beatmaker. Uh, so here I am back in Beatmaker, and I'll show you why I didn't get any sounds. It's because I need to go in the settings here, and I've got MIDI focus actions. And here are all my pads, um, 16 of them, trigger pad 1 through trigger pad 16. I need to actually go and assign these pads to MIDI input. So now I've got it listening for MIDI, and this is going to take me a little bit of time. I'm going to have to go and do each one individually. So I'm going to play that pad. And we'll see, there it is. It's identified that was channel one. I'm not sure why it says CC1. You know why I think it says CC1 is because I've got some CC controllers uh, somewhere sending data. Well, I got knob. I don't see any CC control. Ah, there it is. Touch radius is sending on CC1. I don't want that, I just want to trigger velocity here, so I need to turn that off because it'll confuse the MIDI learn. Uh, so let's go back to Beatmaker and reassign this. So it's waiting for me to play a note. It should have received the note, and when we come back, I hope we see it. There it is, note 37. Next one. Uh, and we'll have to go through all 16 notes like this. It'll take us a while, um, but we can handle this. All right, so now I've got 16 pads assigned to 16 notes. It looks like I missed one. This was pad 13, note 48. I'm looking at what I'm missing. Note 47 is B1, note 49 is C sharp 2. I need the one between B and C sharp. There's B, wait a minute, what's between? Yeah, B, C sharp. This should be a C. I see why I'm missing it because this note was assigned to uh, a different note from what I expected. It should have gone from B straight to C. Um, so I've edited my drum pad layout in Velocity Keyboard, and now I'm probably going to have to go back and do this again. Yeah, I lost two notes by doing that. Here goes C. Uh, 47, 48, 49, and this should be 50, the second to last note. There it is. And we've got it. That's 16 pads assigned. Let's not assign anything else. And let's see what this sounds like. So you hear we've got velocity response. Uh, I'm, I'm not plugged into external speakers. And this is apparently as loud as it gets. Um, but uh, at least when I'm not using speakers like this, the soft sound sounds just too soft for my taste. So I'm going to reduce the velocity range a little bit until the softest touch sounds like uh, something I can hear, and that sounds pretty good to me right there. Yeah, so now I've got, I've got full control over the entire drum pad set in Beatmaker 2, except that now these are velocity sensitive pads, so I can do this. 
want to show you one more thing. I need to pay attention to this MIDI format. So when I have this in single channel polyphonic, it's working fine. But if I were to go to MPE, uh, Beatmaker 3 drums uh, do not respond to MPE, and that makes perfect sense. They don't really need MPE. Uh, so it's important that you get this in a single channel mode uh, before you do this. And that should be all you need to set up in order to get this working.